So, so far, what happened is if the imaging uh, document source and imaging document responder is integrating with uh, uh, imaging backend like a PAX or a VNA. So one of the uh, trend that we see is the increasing number of deployment of XDSI. And XDSI served the purpose very well. But one thing that we notice that people trying to do is <coughs> they try to build a viewer on top of XDSI. And one common question that came up is that the interaction with a viewer on top of XDSI is not uh, optimal. One particular reason is that the manifest provided by XDSI does not necessarily provide a viewer with enough information. And quite often the viewer needs to retrieve the objects from the source and then it processes the images in order to know how to present the images. Uh, so the, it doesn't have enough metadata to prepare ahead of time before retrieving the images. So it, it makes the interactive viewing uh, experience when integrating with XDSI backend uh, not as ideal in some cases. So with WIA, uh, we're trying to have uh, more streamlined integration with XDSI backend without replacing it. So it's a complementary function that you can use on top of XDSI. So let's see how that works. So with the imaging document consumer, Again, similarly, I want to find what studies are there for patient one, two, three, four, five. Instead of actually directly querying the XDS document registry, uh, the consumer can send a, a keto RS query to the imaging document responder, just like what I showed earlier. But in this case, the responder has an integration with a XDSI backend. So the responder will turn around with the keto RS query and convert that into an XDS registry store query. And it will find some metadata. Uh, the responder has its own mechanism, whether it's using the query or it actually has to retrieve the object to find additional information. So it, it gets the metadata and return it to the consumer. Um, so the response is the same keto RS response. So again, the consumer in this case, it doesn't necessarily know the backend, whether it's XDS, I, or DICOM. There's no difference for the consumer. It's the same set of response. It's the responder that high the complexity of converting from a DICOM keto RS query to XDS. And then based on the information returned from the responder, again, the consumer can now send a request, a Wado RS request to the source, um, which can now convert to a XDSI retrieve uh, method, whether it's a DICOM uh, using Wado or uh, if it has a direct integration with the imaging document source in XDSI, then it can use proprietary mechanism, for example, directly retrieve from storage. Uh, so it depends on the integration, the imaging document source now has the objects and return it back to the consumer. So again, the consumer has no difference uh, in this XDSI integration case uh, versus the previously uh, that what I show when it's integrating with a DICOM backend. So it, it's a much uh, streamlined mechanism. One of the, um, if you read the profile, one of the um, core information uh, towards the end of the profile is it provides a, a detailed mapping uh, table that shows you how to populate the XDS registry store query using the keto RS matching key. So this table gives you information as a consumer. If you want to query something in the XDS, 
which attributes you should be querying, and what's the uh, responsibility for the responder to map it to the XDS uh, registry query. What I'm showing here is a subset of the mapping. So in the profile itself, it actually has more information uh, as well as some details help you to uh, uh, understand the mapping because some of the mappings requires additional information and, and the use case around it, the, the context. So we, we talk about API integration or ease of integration as a, as a problem that we want to solve at the beginning. So one common thing that in the clinical world, uh, you, probably most of you have heard about fire. And fire has lots of momentum. And when we can integrate DICOM web with fire, that gives us a lot of capabilities uh, to integrate with the clinical world, the imaging world, using the new uh, API-based integration that uh, many applications can do. So with this profile, I actually providing um, uh, one mechanism that how we can use Fire and DICOM Web together. And specifically, it is integrating with the MHD. So MHD, here is the active transaction diagram. Uh, by itself, it can uh, support uploading clinical documents or query retrieve using FHIR resources. MHD also provides an option called the XDS on FHIR option that uh, the X MHD document responder and the MHD document recipient actor can integrate with the corresponding XDS actor um, so that as a consumer uh, or a source, it now has the ability to use a Firebase approach to access document already published to XDS, which is uh, very useful because if you prefer to use a RESTful API integration type instead of the SOAP-based integration that provided by XDS, now you have a mechanism to do it. But at the same time, again, we want to make sure imaging can be integrated in the same ecosystem. So let's see how WIA can actually integrate with MHD. So here as a start, um, the MHD document consumer uh, will start its regular query retrieve mechanism uh, to the MHD document responder. It first is not actually specifically looking for studies, but looking for generally any documents, just like what the MHD consumer uh, typically will do. So it sends uh, the query mechanism, the document reference, um, to the MHD document responder. MHD also provides a mapping capabilities, how to map the document reference to the XDS registry store query. It returns the information, and now this is the, the fire document reference uh, return information. And part of it, it will tell you, oh, it is a imaging document because it shows the format as a manifest. And also in the context, it provides information like the session number. So normally, without before we have WIA, um, you typically now you have to retrieve the manifest, pass the manifest, then retrieve the DICOM objects. So but with WIA, what you can do now is take the accession number from the MHD response. Um, now as a WIA imaging document consumer, with that accession number, I can now use Keto RS query to uh, uh, group imaging document responder that has an integration with the XDSI backend to get additional information about the study, just like what I showed earlier. And then once you get the response, later you, have, you can use Auto RS to do the retrieve. Um, and because of using the uh, RESTful API, especially with the 
key to our query, now you have access to more metadata uh, using a, a query method instead of retrieving the manifest and then retrieving the study. Uh, so you have a better way to prepare the consumer um, before viewing the study. With this integration, now you no longer actually need to retrieve the manifest, and you also don't need to extend the manifest with uh, some proprietary metadata that some of the existing deployment are forced to do because uh, they, they want to provide the consumer enough information. So as a summary, um, with WIA, it provides a secure web access to imaging study. Uh, part of the security thing is because with um, DICOM Web, HTTP, you can use all the web secure technologies like HTTPS running on TRS to um, secure access and with encryption and authentication. Um, also, image sharing and interactive viewing integration, and it is neutral on the back end.